Hello, I'm Brent Thompson of Thompson Aeronautical Limited, and today we're going to show you two different ways of repairing the damaged leading edge of a wooden aircraft propeller. It's easy for your epoxy leading edge to get some chips and nicks. Here's how to fix them. First, clean the area that you're going to repair with rubbing alcohol. For this repair, we're going to be using an epoxy called HPR25. This epoxy is made by Adhesive Technologies in Auckland, New Zealand. It's a fairly thick epoxy, so you don't have to worry about it dripping off the prop while it's waiting to dry. Apply just enough epoxy to leave a bump that you can trim off the next day. When you come back the next day, start by removing most of the excess material with a utility knife, very carefully as shown. Next, sand the prop to its final contour, starting at 240 grit sandpaper, working up to 1200 or 1500 grit sandpaper. Scraping the excess epoxy off, as shown here, also can work well. Next, polish the prop with a rubbing compound that you might purchase from an automotive supply store. Clean your prop up and you're done. You literally cannot tell that this repair has been made when it's done correctly. Now you're going to learn how to do a different kind of repair. This prop has some damage that's not obvious in this picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the damaged area of wood and replace it with toughened epoxy. So grab your woodworker's marking gauge, hold it as shown on the leading edge of the prop, and scribe a line that you will cut away to replace with epoxy. Is your bandsaw ready? Great, then let's go. Be careful with those fingers. Okay, you did a great job. Now sand the area you just cut away to take out the saw marks. Now apply masking tape right next to the place where you just cut off the wood. This will protect the wood from the epoxy in the next step. You want to apply this on both sides of the prop. On the back side of the prop, you want to put an extra layer of masking tape as shown. This layer of masking tape forms a dam on which the epoxy rests while it's curing. Here's the view after you have the tape all ready to go. Remember your epoxy will rest on that dam. Now trim the edge of your masking tape evenly as shown with the scissors. This will make it a lot easier to get a good bead on the leading edge of the prop. Now mix up some toughened epoxy and remember it's time to replace everything that used to be the leading edge of your prop with toughened epoxy. Put a little bit more epoxy on than is shown in this picture and set your prop aside to dry for a day. When you come back the next day, peel the tape off carefully as shown. After you've done that, you're ready to grind off the leading edge carefully with a grinder. 60 grit sandpaper is about the right place to start. You could do this step by hand if you either didn't have the tool or wanted to be more careful, but you can be careful enough with a grinder. Just make sure that you don't gouge deep holes in the leading edge. Like I said, be really careful. The trick in this next step is to get the proper shape to the leading edge without gouging into the wood behind it. We're starting with 60 grit sandpaper on the sanding block here. Notice that the sanding block is made of urethane foam. It gives it a little bit of flexibility for going around the leading edge. Start at 60 grit, then go up to 120 grit. Use your marking gauge to make sure you're taking off the right amount of leading edge epoxy. And then after you get to 120, it's pinhole time. I know you were trying to be careful when you put that epoxy on the leading edge, but I can just guarantee that there's a few voids and pinholes in your epoxy. Don't feel bad about that, that happens to us too. But you definitely want to take time now and find them. What you do is you get a sharp steel object like a pin and look at the leading edge for possible defects. They will show up as white spots. So anytime you see a white spot, poke it with the pin. If it comes out, that'll be a spot that needs to be filled. After you have your pinholes all opened up, blast it off with compressed air just to be sure. Next, 
tape over your wood adjacent to your epoxy leading edge to protect it during the pinhole filling process. Do this on both sides of the prop. Press hard with a putty knife to get the epoxy into all the pinholes. Yum yum, I know it looks tasty, but don't eat it. Wipe the epoxy smoothly into the leading edge with a thin piece of plastic as shown. Put the prop aside and let it dry for yet one more day. When you come back, do lots more of that sanding and smoothing and sanding and smoothing, and pretty soon you'll be ready to paint. So, here's the parting prop tip for the day. If you're moving your prop around the shop, set it on your foot. You're less likely to break it. For more information on wooden aircraft propellers, visit Thompson. Dash arrow dot com.